the question, of course, is to do with the fact that a court, again, rejected that application for suspension of your arrest. Will you still be appearing in the Islamabad High Court on Saturday? Yes, I plan to, uh, on the 18th, on Saturday, I, I, I plan to be in Islamabad to present myself in front of the court. The government is saying that you've been evading the court, that you have been trying to portray yourself as a martyr. What's your response? Well, the government, I'm afraid, wants to put me in jail, whatever. This is about the, f uh, this attempt was about the fifth attempt when they came to arrest me. And, and this is over the past six months. And so every time it's something, it's some different reason. Once they came to arrest me, they suddenly brought in an, a, a warrant on the weekend. So they knew I couldn't go to the, to the, uh, to, to the court. The problem, Sherry, here is, that there was an assassination attempt on me. And I know it was the people sitting in government who did that. They were the ones who, who tried to kill me. So how this did you know saved... that was going to happen? Where did you hear that from? Have you seen any trail of evidence or documents that you could actually present your case? So I was in power for three and a half years. I had the intelligence ag agencies were working under me. So I, from them, I got the news that this plan was coming. The tensions right now within your country happening because of the importance of early elections to you. Why is this important when we've heard from so many ministries saying there are no funds, there's no manpower, law enforcement to make this happen? You know, the reason why the government is saying this is because they're petrified of elections. The reason why they wanted to kill me is because they're petrified that my but party... But, sir, elections are back. coming, and the prime minister has said it will happen from September to October. So why not let it happen at the appropriate time in the entire country instead of just a few provinces? No, no, look. The two provinces that my country, my, uh, my party was in power is 64% of Pakistan. And, the, and we dissolved our governments because the constitution allows us to dissolve our governments if we think we can't fulfill the public mandate because the center wasn't giving us funds. And we couldn't uh, uh, go to our people and, and what we had promised them like development and so on, we couldn't do it. So because we couldn't fulfill our uh, mandate to the people, what we had promised, so we, we went for elections, which every democracy does it. I mean, every democracy, you have the right. In Britain, they had elections, you know, two or three elections. So we dissolved our government, and the law is that after 90 days, you have to hold elections. The Constitution says that. The Supreme Court then went and announced that the election should be on 30th of April in these two provinces. The government is backtracking, making lame excuses like they don't have the funds. Have involved with Sorry? this government, difficult decisions in this government have involved raising energy prices, taxes as well. Are those some of the measures that you've been thinking about once you get into power, if you win the elections? Look, uh, raising taxes is not the difficult decision, because that just means the easy way out, because you're just putting all the burden on the same people. Increasing the tax base, that is difficult, and that is only a... A government that has public confidence can do it. Secondly, the way our government corporations are bleeding this country, you have to restructure them. That again, only a government with a public mandate can do, take those tough decisions. And then rule of law, the most important thing. Look, Sherry, the most important thing in Pakistan is rule of law. Unless you have a, 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 a governance system and a justice system where people, the investors have confidence in contract enforcement, in the rule of law. Mm. Only then can you fight investors.